Hello YouTubers, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well today Digital Foundry has an article up comparing the PS4 Pro version of Rise of the Tomb Raider which is upscaled to 4K resolution versus a native 4K resolution of the same game running on PC with the very high presets. Now I was quite surprised on the um, results here as I thought the PS4 Pro version would hold up pretty well. Well, as you can see, uh, the PS4 Pro version is on the left-hand side. You can see that the textures are definitely not as sharp. It's a lot blurrier, and uh, it's, just, it's just lacking the sharpness and the detail of the native 4K image from the PC build. Now, this is not the only thing that they've paired back. As you can see here, the PS4 Pro version is missing a lot of the effects that the PC version has at native 4K resolution and very high presets. It's missing the fire, it's missing a lot of the lighting elements, and of course we can see the textures are just not as sharp. The picture is quite a bit blurrier. Also, you can see in this picture at the top of the screen there, you'll see that it's also missing some of the fire effects and the lighting. The lighting is completely gone on the PS4 Pro version. So they're already making concessions and paring back some of the effects in order to give you an upscaled 4K resolution. Now, this is likely due to the PS4 Pro having a very weak CPU. The CPU needs to be more powerful than the Jaguar cores that they're using currently now to run anything at a 4K resolution, much less 1440p. And what we're likely seeing here is the bottleneck caused by the CPU. Now, due to the CPU being so weak, you're not really going to see an increase in alpha effects on the PS4 Pro. What you're likely to see is a little bit more stable uh, frame rates on some of the games, but as far as getting 60 frames per second, although the GPU is capable of doing this, unfortunately the CPU holds it back. So we're going to see maybe frame rates at 40, 45 frames per second unlocked. Um, the 30 frames per second games will be locked better, they won't have dips as much down to the 28 and the 27s due to the higher upclocked Jaguar CPU. But once again, Sony is taking a half measure here to come with a 4K resolution, which is nowhere near what the PC is putting out. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think the PS4 Pro is just better off doing 1080p, 60 frames per second, or are you impressed with the 4K upscaled resolution that it's providing? Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next.